reason why we do this two day full day boot camp is because I want y'all to simulate life on the road doing gigs. And some people cancel, they don't come, they don't make it. And you're not like, I don't understand how you don't come. I don't understand how you don't have the money to come. I don't understand that. But if I said I got a gig here, this is a gig. You speaking, you're gonna get footage. The reason why I'm telling y'all seven, you gotta speak again, is because they didn't get your footage. You wasn't mic'd up, you ain't ready. But you wanna leave out of here and make money. Y'all make me sick, not y'all specifically. It's us, it's like, like you say you want this, but you don't want this. You see my schedule I dropped the other day? I told him I'm brick, I'm getting back in the trenches. I know how I built it. I'm going back in the trenches for a reason. I'm building it completely different and bigger, and y'all gonna be like, how you do that? Work, work. Don't, you ain't got no excuse to say you can't come, you were coming up here and you ain't ready, you ain't need no work, because you ain't ready for this. That's why I say most people want what it looks like, but you don't want what this feels like. There's a difference between going out and speaking every single day and actually making a revenue doing it. You know how you get paid? You get great at what you do. How do you get great? You practice. That's why we come here, to practice, to learn how to travel, to learn how to sacrifice, to do something as simple as learning how to pack your bag. Just that simple. To learn how to say, I really ain't got the money to go, but I'm gonna go. I don't have the money to do, and I'm gonna do this. To say you got one of these, and you ain't have it on when you came up here, you broke, that's the first cardinal rule. Always mic thyself up. Y'all gotta get, you gotta change the way you think. That was session number one. You gotta change your mind. Man, let me tell you something, it was everything that I needed. Uh, because what Kendall does, he systematically and strategize how really you build your business from the ground up. It's no fluff with this thing. Um, what he teaches you, he, he gives you from his, one, his real world experience, but more importantly, he gives you the cold, harder, brut uh, brutus, honest truth. And it, it, you know, with most programs, most people give you fluff, but he gives you exactly what you need to be successful in this business. You gotta get on top of your numbers because while it don't look like a lot now, as you get into this, your numbers are gonna go up. And you gotta get into the habit of being disciplined and doing business. Say do business. You gotta learn how to do, I don't care, I'm gonna be honest. It ain't about who speaks the greatest. It's not about who has the most information. And everybody got a line and everybody making money. In the speaking game, in the coaching game, everybody gonna make money. The ones that last or stand the test of time are the ones that are consistent, that are disciplined, that are Kaizen, right? That, that are Kaizen and that know how to manage their growth and their development. Make sure that when you walk in the crib, when you at home, that it's peace for you because we are in the business of what? And you cannot and hurt people and you cannot go out here and speak to people and coach people and your life is a mess. I'm just being real. If your personal life is a mess, your business is gonna be a mess. And those are the people that don't last. You need to focus in on mastering your number one product, which is what? It's the presentation. But you're just like, that presentation. <laughs> I'm like, y'all tripping. Your number one product is your what? Presentation. And are you sweet with it? Yeah. And damn it, you shouldn't be selling nothing else. You got bad product. Like, you, why are you trying to sell Kindle? Why are you trying to sell shirts? Because I need this bread. No. You need to master that one. You ain't see an iPhone 4 until iPhone 1 got mastered. Here's what you don't have mastered. The art of getting the gig. The art of generating a certain amount of revenue per month. Standing up flat-footed and just being able to, boom, present in your gift. Oh, boss was phenomenal. Well, I was growing as a speaker and I started to do some coaching and I wanted to be able to develop a business that would allow me to generate the kind of revenue that would allow me to take care of my family. And I saw Boss as a way for me to get a system so that I can be successful in doing that. Write down these four P's of presentation real quick. Prepare, practice, personalize, present. And when you get that down, and you can just walk up and just be like, boom. Okay, thank you. 
and you get like that, then you start thinking about other stuff. Until that time, get that joint down. Like, how much is that one product, the presentation, bringing in? So your goal and your objective should be to get my presentation so sweet, whether I'm doing it on a free console, whether I'm doing it one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter how I'm doing it, I wanna be able to communicate and articulate so great that whomever I'm speaking to, Kaizen kicks in and they see the continuous improvement and they wanna be a part of that. Then once I get that sweet and, I'm, and I have a stream, not drips, a stream of revenue coming in, not drips, I got a stream coming in, it's at that point where I say, I need to diversify. I need to start scaling in, not up. All right, a counselor pulls you back. A coach pushes you forward. A mentor guides you. A trainer teaches you. And a consultant provides ideas based on expert experiences. At some point, you, are, you might touch on therapist, coach, counselor, and trainer. At some point, you might dip in and out. But you can't say, I'm all of the above. It will be, you gotta say, yo, I'm a trainer. And you gotta lock in on that. Because that's your main gift. Well, I knew I, I've always been gifted. I've always been talented. And I love to inspire and motivate and really push people out of their, their comfort zones. However, I didn't have the blueprint on how to do it. I had no idea how to execute it. I just needed somebody to kind of push me over the cliff. And so that's what I felt like this, this, is, this is exactly what it was. So let me say this to everybody. You will make drips of money, whether, even if you go for the money first. You have to make a decision and say, let me follow the process. Remember those four Ps? People, process. Like I've been dropping some major turtle gems. I'm just thinking about it right now. People, process, product, profit. So in the pro you gotta stay in the process and allow the profit to come. When you jump out the process, if you, if you jump out of process and jump over into, I'm talking about even over product and into profit, you done skip the step. And now if you jump over product, it ain't sweet enough for you to sell it and make a profit. Make sure that you keep your feelings in check, right? And just know that there's a lot that comes with this. They're gonna talk bad about you. It's, I promise you they are, super bad. But if you just, just separate yourself, make sure that you get gird up your loins and just keep it moving.